In this movie, we're going to do an overview of en route drawing tools. And the drawing tools will be if you want to just construct a particular shape and then uh, modify it any number of ways to, to design the parts that, that are needed to be created. Uh, the drawing tools can be found in the draw menu. Uh, you also have the same drawing tools here and the toolbar button to the left of your keyboard by default. If uh, you go to the drawing tool, we can see a list of the types of shapes that can be drawn. You have a line, a rectangle, circle, ellipse, arc, polygon, and text can be drawn from here as well. But within any of these capabilities, let's start off with a rectangle. You have a number of ways a part can be drawn, and you also can see there's a preview that shows up on screen. If I come over here to the left side, I can see there's two construction methods, and this would be the same for any of the drawing shapes. You'll, you'll see the methods of, of, you can draw something listed over here. Next to that, you have some different parameters, such as if you want sharp corners, filleted corners, chamfers, or an inverted corner, reverse fillet, uh, and the radius of those particular uh, related types of profiles. You have specific information about if you're drawing something, you can enter corner one and corner two specifically and hit apply. Um, or you can, you can change the type of method and change what information will be input here. So that brings us back to uh, the ways you might want to draw something. And, and one way you can draw easily is just to click on screen. Uh, if I click once, I'll, I'll draw the first corner. When I click on screen again, I'll draw the second corner. And this part could then be resized by selecting it and going to F2 or, or hitting a, the scale button from over here. And getting back to the rectangle tool, if, if you want to be a little bit more precise about how something is drawn, then we can say we're going to specify a corner location here, and we're specifying the, the lower left-hand corner here. If I wanted to specify this right corner, I could, I could go to the lower right-hand corner, but I'm going to say lower left, make that at 0, 0, and then we're going to make it at 24 by 12 part and hit apply. So that, that puts this, this part in the right location and is the right size to start with. So you can draw a freehand where something is drawn and resized, or you can draw the right size part in the right location. In addition to this tool, you have um, a way to draw shapes using the poly arc tool, which would make a continuous line. Here you would specify either through clicking on screen or specifying an entry point, the first position. Now you can specify the next position, say the direction, and, and this is a Cartesian system where zero is out here, 90 is straight above. 180 is to the right and 270 to the bottom and it's always going to be relative to the last point that you you placed in that direction so if you're never if you're not sure you can just you can just move the cursor in the direction you want the arrow to go and that'll tell you about the the direction angle you want so to go straight to the right here we're going to put in zero and let's put in 24 and hit accept and that will create the part here now again we're going to click select this we want to go straight up here, so that's going to be 90 and 12. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to go back in this direction, which is 90 again from that, from that location, and 12. Oh, and actually I needed an extra 12 there, so we're going to, we're going to go here. This is going to be a direction of 0 now, because it's all relative to the last direction you went. And uh, another 12 to get it over there. And now we're going to bring it back down to 0, 0. So that's going to be 90 and 12. And there we're able to draw the part just by, by segment and length. So there's a, there's a way you can use the line drawing tools. You also have here a little bit more creative tool, which is uh, your Bezier drawing tool. So that's helpful if you need it to draw curves or to fit a part in a particular area. And that might also be considered one of the more graphic tools for uh, graphic drawing and, and artistic types of drawing. Um, here we have the, the other standard shapes, which is a circle. And you can, you can draw by a radius and a location, or you can click on screen and draw and then resize the part. So that's, that's pretty straightforward. Um, here we have a draw ellipse, and you can go by the corners or go by a, a more precise way of entering the values, a, a location and width, height, and angle. Um, your angle would be 
if you change this to 45 would put this on a bias here changing it back to zero will make it flat along the, the x-axis and so these are pretty straightforward drawing tools now the the draw arc tool is a nice one you have uh, the ability here to just create a sweep section quite easily i'm going to click in the middle hold my shift key down go to the right and then sweep around and it makes it easier holding the shift key down to easily create a half round there if i if i wanted to create that kind of a shape and when you're drawing something say like a line here you can click on your end point and make it a little bit easier to snap to the ends that you want to maybe draw to another type of of tool you might have here would be if I want to create an arc and let's see I'm going to come and do my partial offset tool here and let's create a one inch offset from this line downward now sometimes you might have the need to um, create an arc segment so uh, I'm now going to have snap the end and midpoint on here and this time I'm going to use this excuse me, long section there this one arc by three points so I'm going to start on the first point click the second point and then click the third point here in the middle that helped me to create a, a particular radius there maybe on on the top side of a part okay so uh, here we we uh, shown uh, how to use a few of these tools now since we are talking about the drawing tools the we will include the text tool here and I'll just draw a little wavy line here the text tool and if I come here I'll see that uh, there are three and route single stroke fonts that install and these are two type fonts that we then modify to become stroke fonts so this is just a single stroke font now and uh, we can select this part and if we hit this middle tool here then we can come in and click on the the red which represents one end the green which represents the beginning and help it to position it properly in a along a particular path aside from that uh, the font you just click on screen and it will create a, a font across uh, and that would be easy to just create number, numbers or letters from for marking parts as needed all right so uh, now we've talked a little bit about the drawing tools you do have a few um, a few tools in here for creating um, a lug for, for instance where you'd have a, a specified width height hole diameter and when you hit apply you're going to be able to create that part automatically and uh, if you uh, look here and hold down on this you also see here's a flange wizard for creating uh, a flange of a particular shape so so there's a couple shapes here uh, but let's say you wanted to, to draw some parts and you weren't going to use this and you kind of have to get an idea for the for how on route's going to work so so to do that i'm going to come here and i'm going to import a bitmap and let's go to and let's try and draw a few of these and this is kind of a simple one now there might be a way you can draw this one with a rectangle eight inches on one side four on another and connected to about two sides uh, I'm going to do that one a little different way here. I'm just going to uh, go to draw line, click on screen, hit F2. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to this middle one here. Uh, click on screen and then go here and say we're going to go zero direction, eight inches, except. All right, now I'm going to come here and take this part and I'm going to do a partial offset from here. I'm going to say. 12 inches and put that on the side here now this one is only supposed to be four inches wide so I'm going to go to the precision input center and scale that down to four then we're going to select both of these and center them so now we've we've created an offset here resized it and centered it uh, based upon the other part now we're going to go to the draw tool command and actually for this one there's another command that would be better which is join contours and join contours will allow me to not just draw the part but it will do the closing of the of the path as well so i don't have to come back and, and merge that so here we have the right size part uh, created uh, just a way to create this this particular part all right now let's uh 
let's go here with something that's a, a six inch wide and six inch tall piece and it has a 1.5 radius on the top 1.5 corner here chamfer on the side and uh, a one and a half inch diameter hole in the middle so I'm going to start off here by just drawing a six inch square um, let's go six by six and just drop this here now uh, I'm going to have a a radius of 1.5 on this side I'm going to go to fillet corners fillet a corner and we're going to say 1.5 click once click once click twice and we'll see we'll put a little radius here now the chamfer tool um, there's be a couple ways I could do this one but probably the easiest way is to also go ahead and put a radius on this side 1.5 and actually this side has a radius as has the chamfer so I'm now going to come here to point edit mode right click and convert that to a line that's the easiest way to make this side straight now a 1.5 inch diameter hole I would just come here and make a, a radius we're going to say 0.75 for the radius put this approximately in the middle there and then just select this and align it so there's, there's always a, more than one way to accomplish something, but when it just comes to part drawing, you're probably going to use a combination of drawing something and then one of the other uh, editing tools that is going to allow you to, to draw the overall part. So here we have this one here, and uh, we'll just make it not six inches anymore, but show you how it, it looks relative to there. Now let's uh, look at that flange and, and, and think about that lug lift as well. How would we do these if we didn't have that tool? Because sometimes it just helps to, to think a little bit about which tools will help you to, to achieve the different things you need to do. So this is just a series of circles. We've got a six inch diameter circle on the outside. So I'm gonna come here and, and choose a radius here of three inches. And if I wanna just make it easy on myself, I'll place that at zero, zero. The inside radius is two inches. So let's come back here now. And this one we'll again put at zero, zero. Or since we've already created one here, now we could just come and snap this to the, the center of this part and move that in the middle there. Now we need to create the, uh, the holes. I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes here. And uh, the hole diameter is 0.5 inches. So I'm going to come here. And uh, first thing I'll do is create a 0.5 inch hole. So we're going to say 0.25. And I'll put this over here. Now I'm going to take this part. And let's do a multi-copy here. And we're going to copy this around an arc. I'm going to center this arc, and this is why it just helps to make everything at zero, zero. We're going to center that there. Um, we're going to put this from the middle point, and we're going to have a radius here. Uh, if this is two and this is six, so we're going to have that meet in the middle there of four. So we'll put a radius of two. All right, and there we'll have a number of eight going to line those up in the right location and when we hit apply we have now created the same shape as the flange just using a, a manual method of doing it of course if you have a shape wizard shape to create a, a needed shape that's always the best but uh, any shape can be created with just a little bit of time spent thinking about what exactly are the best tools to help accomplish that and finally here the lug lift I mean this would be a fairly easy one to draw as well um, we've got a three by six here, and we have a one inch hole in the middle. If I wanted to oversize this a, a little bit, maybe 1.1. So uh, three wide by six tall. So I'm going to come here and make this a width of three and a height of six. Let's get rid of that part. I just placed it on screen, and I'm going to move it, move it to the lower left hand corner by hitting Control and 1 from the number pad there. Now, the um, quickest way to probably put a round over up here would be to go to the stillet tool. Uh, again, we have a, a diameter of three, so the radius is one and a half. We can, we can use the same radius here. 
and we're going to just click once, click again, a preview will appear, and we hit apply, click once and click again, and hit apply. So there we've created that bottom part. Now for the, the lug lift, 1.1 uh, inch radius, so uh, here I'm just going to go to draw circle, 1.1 inch diameter, so I can say 1.1 divided by 2 if I don't 100% sure I'm, I'm putting in the right value. I'm going to use my snap to arc here again. And and so uh, one interesting here is it's not reading this arc as an arc. So it's not helping me place that, which is fine. Sometimes uh, if I look at this, I can see that probably there's something a little bit off about these uh, that is not having the same center point. Let me see if I can do a little cleanup here, if that will help. Looks like it got rid of one extra point here. So now let's Let's go back to the circle tool. It remembers the last values that we had entered in here. Uh, and then when I go and put my cursor near the arc, it centers it in the middle of that arc. So here's a, our lug lift we created. Uh, you know, there would be other ways to create this as well. We can make this a little smaller rectangle here now. And instead of putting a fillet there, we can just come in and do a point edit mode. So, um, so there's always more than one way to accomplish almost any task, but, uh, but this is an easy way to go about creating a, a few of the shapes you might need to draw on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, uh, there will be uh, a chance for any time you have a uh, need for help drawing a shape, you can send it to us and, and we'll show you how we would go about drawing it.